Hello, boys and girls and everything in between. My name is Kazuma. Today we're playing some more Little Goody Two Shoes. So, um, <laughs> actually like 10 minutes late. I was supposed to, I put the schedule up for like 11.30 and then I saw it and I was like level 40. I was like, oh, mm, that's, that's a problem. <laughs> so I had to quickly get everything together. So if you hear anything in the background, that is my dog eating and licking water. She loves her water. Um, so, we last left off. I, don't, I think we were talking to the lab. We finished talking to the lab, is, is what I'm thinking. And I think we finished everything for, in here that we can do technically. I might just look around because I mean I think I could talk to a few more people. I think I've already talked to everyone. I've already talked to you, right? I did I already talk to him? I have no idea. Still running about town, I see. Uh, as I do, Mr. Gustav. Waits me down to uh, that hard at work on Sunday. Well, I gotta feed myself somehow. I'm very poor, as you can see. Why don't you come over for dinner one of these days? Um, you know, <laughs> if you have bread, then I will not come. I'm tired of bread. All I have is bread, Mr. Gustav. I'm tired of it, personally. Oh, I, would, I wouldn't want to oppose you. I guess I'll pose on you, but I didn't even say the you part, so that's my that's just me being weird. Uh, Freya would be jumping for joy, you know that? I'm grateful for the invitation, truly, but I have uh, something I don't know, which is really weird, because um, we're supposed to be friends with Freya. Like, best friends. So are we like, kind of like avoiding her? I don't know that part. I don't know. I don't know why. Some soup, some soup spoiling uh, sometimes tomorrow, you see? Freya talks about you day and night. I can see you're close friends. I'm not close enough to go over to each other's house to eat, I guess. <laughs> oh, that. Whatever the reason, Elise, you're always welcome in our home, you hear? Thank you um, so much, Mr. Gustav. As I'm gonna be with you, I literally practically almost forgot Elise's, um, her name. I was like, what was her name again? I really went blank there for a second. It's only a matter of time until Freya brings you around, you'll see. I think, I really think I already talked to everyone. Oh, there's a little um, monster. I don't know. But before I do go, I get so lonely all by myself in this inn. Uh, I'm buying. I want some. How expensive is this? Highly expensive. I want two of these, probably, I would say. Oh, I'm poor now. Golly gee. I like two ointments, so I should be fine. I could. How much bread do I have, actually? Can I check my inventory in here? Uh, goodbye. Goodbye, Wilma. Was Wilma? Yeah, I said Wilma. I said Wilma. So, Wil was Wilma? Wilma. There we go. Um, let me see. How much food do I have? Uh, I can probably get a bit more. Get like two more pieces of bread. I mean, I technically have like a bunch of food, really. But you can never have too much because we're a starving girl. We need all the food we can get. Okay. I don't think I talked to any of you guys, right? Oh, it's absolutely horrifying. What? What happened, Miss Wilma? Those dreadful branches. 
inside my shed. I heard nothing of branches reaching the end. They didn't last. It's a mystery as to someone or something left a... Oh, I wouldn't even know what to call it. Okay. You're fretting too much. Someone just played a prank on you, I'm certain. Actually, it's probably those little kids. Why would someone do such a thing? Because they're children. And they're stupid. <laughs> also, because you're a terribly mean old lady. That too. I forgot about what you did. Oh, I remember. Uh, I should say there's the more rational outlook, but truly, we wouldn't want to make too much of it. Oh, you lot won't take anything this seriously. There was a bucket of water outside my front door, too. Ah, uh, I see. Yep, it was the kids. <laughs> it may be best if you took a nap, Wilma. My suspicion, yay. Okay, I've already been up in here. What are you doing? Yeah, Lily, what are you doing? <laughs> Shush, look. What am I looking at? When was losing her wits? Losing her wits? It worked. We did it, Elise. <laughs> what worked? <laughs> Jacob uh, and I hit a, bran a bunch of those branches in her shed. That's your prank? Could you imagine? Like, if people weren't scared of this, like, a witch and these branches everywhere. And you went into, like, your shed or something and there was branches in there, you'd be like, Why is this here? Who brought this in here? And you just throw them out, but instead, Lily's scared of the branches themselves. Like, the branches are, like, a plague. Because uh, when we were chopping wood, there was like, why don't you use the branches? They were like, no. No branches. Even though they're everywhere. So weird. So weird. Why don't you come up with a better idea then? I'm not the one who wanted to prank Wilma to begin with. You were just giddy about it as we were. You liar. Was not. We're too. I'll tell Miss Wilma you pranked her. I'll tell when you pranked her if you do. Why you? You know, personally, I'm happy she got pranked. She's a mean lady. Raised my suspicion. I don't know if I talked to you two. My Elise, you don't mean to tell me you're still working. Um, I'm actually going to go to, what's her name? Cause it's dust time. So I need to go to Rosemary. There you go. I need to go to her. Uh, you don't mean to tell me you're still working? Yep. I don't have much of a choice, Miss Brunhild. Why, that can't be good for you. Well, you know what's also not good for me? Not eating. Uh, you're too yielding. Yielding? There you go, Brunhild. Oh, I can't help it with a baby on the way. Those are some enviable... Em enviable? 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 Basically like envy. There you go. Worries, Brunhild. I'm not gonna try to say that word again. Miss Ar Arna? Still can't say her name. I don't know how to say her name. Oh, it's nothing worth mentioning. Moving back to Primaldorf may very well be our only option, sadly. It's only a matter of time until Brunhild Kieferberg's no longer has much to offer. I left Primaldorf behind for my husband, but... You won't be staying for long either, will you, Elise? Elise is too self-driven for Kieferberg. Always has been. Uh, I suppose. Okay, I think I basically just talked to all those guys. Getting out of here. I'm pretty sure I talked to them last episode? Episode, last stream. 
So I think I'm gonna just leave at this point. Wait, I, maybe it's down here. There are people down here. Hello. Has Mr. Wilhelm shut himself in again? We told him he'd we'd be coming by, but chances are he's up to no good again. The old donkey. <laughs> Calling someone old and calling him a donkey too. <laughs> Double. I mean, he is old, so not really an insult, more of an observation. But donkey is a bit rude. He'll be meeting his maker sooner rather than later at this rate. Ooh, can't be saying that. If only you did even half of what he does at this age. You're the one to talk. You, isn't he the one to nap on Sundays? You've been knocking, but he's deaf as a log. He'd best come back later, lads. Carry all that wood out of the alley without this cart is a little to, oh to heck with it frame we can get gustav to lend us a hand i'm not saying that name to if he's still downtown still about town okay i have no no excuses for why i'm reading so bad before i could just like Blame it on it being late. Now I'm just now it's just early. So maybe maybe that that's my second excuse. It's early. Oh, hi Freya. Oh, Elise. I thought you'd be in town. Oh, I just stopped by Mrs. Gretel's to visit. She's been waiting to teach me this recipe, but I can't seem to find the time. A recipe for what? Oh, I'm so glad you asked, Elise. You see, Papa's a big fan of honey milk bread, but... Mr. Gustav? He's got the biggest sweet tooth, you know? Now that that's... Now that's a little unexpected. I've been meaning to learn the recipe, is all. Why not get it from Miss Gretel's? Uh, it's a little embarrassing, but... Papa... Well, he's always said that, um... You don't, have to, you don't have to tell me, Freya. He says he likes my cooking better because it's, um... Made with love. Wait, is that the big secret? Is that why you were hesitating? Girl, what's going on with you? <laughs> that, that's, that's literally my exact thinking. Like, what? Oh, I know, Elise. He's so embarrassing. You're embarrassing yourself for no reason. <laughs> There's nothing to be embarrassed about. Or love. You're just weird. I mean, we'd still love you, Freya. That's just a little weird. Okay, now we need some bread. Oh, I love her so much. She's so, such a kind old lady. Look at those... Her, her cheeks are literally like, the bread is like her cheeks. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm buying. Let's get some bread. Go. Thank you, thank you. Now, let's get out of here. Nope, I'm good. Pretzels are too expensive. I am broke. See ya, Granny. Call her Granny Gretel, actually. Granny Gretel. Okay, it's time to go to see um, Rosamarine. There we go. Oh, wait. Uh, I, I remember this. I remember this. Hold up. <laughs> Give me a, just a little moment. Just, just, a little, just a little moment. Go and just uh, save right there. Have a bit of a um, does sneaking suspicion things are about to happen. What is this? Was this opening here before? I wonder. This place is so stuffy. 
stay sane. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, what's this? Diary entry one. This looks an awful like, awful lot like the old geezer's robe, doesn't it? What's this? The miracle of our beloved patroness Saint Welperga. After last evening's events, I have no choice but to take responsibility. Not only for uh, Saint Welperga's sake, but for old Holly's as well. Our grandmother? Huh? Granny Holly? On her deathbed, old Holly confessed to all her sins. She could have done nothing. She's a sweet person. No sins. Among her most mundane missteps, she told me about Elise. Of her many prayers to cure her of her childlessness. Childless, childlessness. Yet... Wait, did I say that right? Wait, log? To cure, to cure her. I will make us cure her of our childlessness. Yeah, yeah, childless. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop, because I'm going crazy. Yet what struck me as remarkable was the miracle she claimed was granted. What are you doing over there? Dog shaking. That was uh, that the woodland itself granted her wish for a child as she put as she put it herself he granted her wish for a heavy price how can this be what did old holly truly mean to say if this truly did happen and elise was conceived by saint walpurga's divine intervention intervention yet if not for saint walpurga's blessing then who is he Old Holly didn't seem delirious, nor did she lose her composure. I have more questions than I can answer at this moment. What's going on here? My same question. I'd be best hold on to this piece of paper. Okay. Is my sanity going down? I think it is. I should probably get out of here quickly. Tattered note. What does this say? Oh, it's like a windmill. Look at this over here. There we go. Like a windmill? Wind is it a windmill? Or is it like a water mill? I don't know what that is, personally. Another prayer? Hello, Walperga, sanctified by thy name. I beg for beg thy for a sign. A testimony to my plea. May you accept this offering, the remnants of thy miracle. Kieferberg welcomes thy blessing, thy guidance. Someone must be leaving these around, but who? There's something else at the bottom. Find proof of our faith up at the peaks. Buried within the windmill. So it was a windmill. Uh, that once was. This is... That old windmill up in the mountains. Okay. Oh. Um. Oh my god, I forgot about this thing. Oh my god, I forgot about this. Oh my god. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me out, give me out, give me out, give me out. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here anymore. It's scary. What was that thing? I guess as good as mine. I don't know what that thing is. It looks so weird. It's like a freaking blob monster. Like, it's like it has arms. It's, I don't know. It looks so weird. Was I, was I dreaming or... I think I might need something to clear my mind. Uh, yeah. It's all in our imagination. Imagination. That's it, imagination. Let's let's just get out of here. Da da da, hop, skip, jump. Let's go. 
and it, I think, yeah, control is the, for the lantern, just in case, so I remember. Can I go this way? What is over here? Was oh, this where the windmill is? <gasps> it is! So, what do I do here? Goodness knows what I would give to live in a castle just like that one. Oh, it is a castle. Yet here I am, a simple maid of all work, shining the distance, the monumental, monumental castle stands. Ethereal, ephemeral, and out of reach. Please don't judge my reading. I know it's bad, but you know, yeah. That's all I want to say. What about the windmill? It just it wanted me to come here. What do I do here? I've actually never been here at the windmill. To be quite honest. Even with my last playthrough, which was like two hours like at best, I never came over here. I didn't even know this was the windmill personally. Okay, I guess we just have to come back here later. Okay, let's go. Oh, okay. I thought that was like another way. Like upwards. I'm gone crazy. I'm gone mad. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. La la la. Oh. Wait, is this for the. Oh, okay. No, no. I thought it was actually like something inside of there. Let me in, let me in! Uh, Rosemary? Where are you? Oh! What's your name again? I forget your... <laughs> there you are, us, oh, Flock. Flock. Must be nice being a goat, huh? Not one care in the world, oblivious to everything. I don't think so. I feel like um, if you're a goat and you have like no caretaker, then you kind of got to find your own food and everything. And I don't think that's necessarily easy. Well, goats eat grass, actually. So I don't think that um, it will be hard to find grass just everywhere. But I guess if you're not like in a pen or anything, you can get eaten by like a wolf or something will attack you. So I guess, I mean, you could get eaten by a wolf but, and be a human. So, uh, I, I, I don't know. You still get beat up by a wolf though. There she is. I'll spend some time with her. Rosemarine, I'm here. Rosemarine! There you are. I didn't know you'd be back so soon, Elise. Huh. I still have to head back to, uh, to town, mind you. What are you doing standing out here? <laughs> I was just waiting for the stars to come out, is all. Hmm. A little too early for stars, don't you think? I find it helps me air out my thoughts. Mm. Air out your thoughts, you say? I'm waiting for the waxing crescent. It's oh crescent, 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 eh? Huh? Okay, I'm gonna stop. Important to uh, important. I set my sights on what's to come. The sooner the better. What do you mean, Rosemary? You see, Elise, I dreamt about you before, about Kieferberg too. That's not weird. Last night or. This may sound strange, it does, but I didn't quite stumble upon Kieferberg by accident, so that means you did break into my house at your own because you just want to do that? Okay, that's cool too. What do you mean? Do you believe in fate, Elise? I don't know, I've never given it much thought. Then you most likely won't believe what I have to say, but... I've always known my fate was with you, Elise. Um, okay. 
it's kind of kind of um, romantic in a sense huh it's too soon to be having this conversation if I'm honest I meant to wait until you were ready but I don't understand Rosemary ready for what our wedding the wedding bells I'm not, I don't hear any where's the wedding bells <laughs> You'll know in time. For What's with all this mystery? Out with it, Rosemary. What are you trying to tell me? It took me quite some time to make sense of it myself, but... Everything's feeling so strangely nostalgic to me. Hmm. Nostalgic, you say? Your name, your voice, your home? Once again, did you actually break into my home? For what, what reason? Uh, this breeze, even? That's not weird either. All that surrounds you, so much of it feels like home to me. I like I like this art. I really do like it. It's, it's so it's so beautiful, so pretty. It's not possible, Rosemary. It's you. The stars told me about Elise. I'm certain now. Never never in my life have I ever heard such nonsense and yet and yet what I'm covered in goosebumps mm. I don't think that's the right thing you want to have actually I don't usually when you have goosebumps it's usually when I'm cold or scared or I got like some kind of weird shiver like like that you know it's like oh my god I felt some like kind of presence woo 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 ghost ghost things like that so I don't know if I ever had goosebumps for good reasons. So that's a bit strange to me. I can tell you don't believe uh, one word of what I just said. No, I believe you, and that's why you're weird. Rosemarine, I. I think I'll stay out here for a little while longer, if that's alright. I promise I won't be late for supper. Alright, don't stay out here too long, you hear? I won't, I won't. Okay. We got one heart. Oh my god. I love you. Like, not a weird way though. Because the things you were saying about, you know, Elise was a little. Just, just a little strange. Just a little. Just a little. So, yeah. Okay. I'm finally down, done with the work for today. I best uh, head over to Mrs. Gretel's to see uh, Lev. Okay, it is it is dark. Let me get my lantern. Uh, thank God. Okay, let's go. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. These gosh darn doors and their automatic systems of opening them. Let's run. Okay. Da, da, da. Can we just take some of these grapes? I'm like I'm so hungry. Speaking of being hungry, I should probably eat some food. There we go. Also, so, when I did my first playthrough of this, I didn't know how to use the lamp. I think I might have told, told like, you guys this already, but I didn't know how to use the lamp. So, for, like, the biggest part of, like, the entire playthrough, if the lamp wasn't, like, automatically already on for me, I would use it so everything would be so dark. It'd be so bad. This is not weird. Hello. It's like, oh, it's, look at this. It looks so pretty. Like, sitting in the moonlight and the darkness. Actually, it's a little creepy in a sense. I'm not gonna lie to you, but it's okay. There you are, Leb. You're a little too happy to see me, aren't you? Oh, I thought today would never end. That's all. You do look tired, Elise. These folk will be the death of me. That's what. 
fretting over this witch nonsense day and night. You know they're rather superstitious, Elise. Oh, you're, <laughs> oh, you're buying into it now too. What's next? We all sleep in the church together like chickens in a coop. Elise, it's all nonsense, Lev. Everyone is losing their wits. Here's your bread, Elise. Oh, two bread. Thank you. Did you make too much today or something? I felt you could use a little more than usual tonight. You need to look after yourself, Elise. Lep's always had a talent for figuring things out, but... Is this her intuition again, or...? Move along, Elise, before it gets late. I'll... I, I'll i see you tomorrow, Leb. I don't think there's anything in the town I would need to see. Oh, what's going on over here? I don't... What's going on? Oh, I can't find it. What can't you find? Groon? I don't know how to... Gruna? Don't know how to say that. Uh, I haven't seen you there, my dear. The bear, Mrs. Mariel, gave me. That's what you get for being such a klutz, Grun. Alpha. Alpf? Alpf? I'll say? M Mrs. Mariel said she made it for me, even had a ribbon on it. It may be best you head inside for now, my darling. It's no use uh, looking for it in the dark, that's for certain. You're a klutz, you're a klutz. That's not funny, Alf. You have the head, uh, you have your hands full, don't you, Mrs. Elizabeth? Like you wouldn't know. I don't think I need to go in town. Oh, much as I do like reading and talking to these people, which I don't. I want to know the full story of everything. Hello. Looking to get another lecture from Bernhel, Bernhand, Bernhard. There you go. Elise, you lads out to spare her the earful, Henrich. Henrich. Finally, a voice of reason. Don't lump me in with the with Lutwig and Bernhard. Elise is more than capable of looking after herself, the way I see it. I most certainly am, Mr. Henrich. These old folks, however, you better keep an eye on them. Do you mean Miss Audley and Old Joshin? They have been spreading other nonsense, I've heard. Oh, Josh, old Joshin. Joshin? It's going to become a problem sooner rather than later, I wager. Why don't you say that? Why would you say that, Mr. Eugen? Eugen? You'll see, lass. I wouldn't want to be talking behind the old lad's back, but I suspect this windstorm nonsense will take its toll on us. Now, Mrs. Otterly, what are you doing over here? My Elise, why are you still wandering about in ta town? Is everything all right, Mrs. Otterly? It clearly isn't, is it? What if that woodstorm picks up again this evening? Then why are you outside, walking around? Go inside, take a nap. You're old, you need it. <laughs> I still think you probably have some kind of mental illness, God. Uh, there's only so much an old woman can do against the wind. I think there's only so much someone can do against the wind in general. Against the woodland, Elise. I hardly see a reason for all this fretting, if I'm honest. Oh, I'm well aware of what you're trying to say, lass. This windstorm is an odd occurrence. I'll have you know. Oh, this is getting on my nerves. Don't mean to say it was the... Oh, please, don't mention it. For goodness sake. 
Anything over here? Yeah, so it seems like Miss Otterly and Old Joshin are like spreading rumors about all around the place. About the witch. Witch this, witch that. Everywhere is a witch, basically, at this point. Okay, I think I've basically talked to everyone I can talk to. So I'm gonna move along. Because I am uh, partially tired of being here. I wonder if when these branches are gone, can I go like see the rest of the town? That'd be nice. Can I like not help this girl find her stuff? Am I supposed to help her or? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm trying, trying to help you. I don't know how she does it. Okay. No, I don't need to help her. I was supposed to like have like a little quest or something to help her find her bear question mark okay well I'm basically done so I want to go home could you imagine like having to walk through the woods every time to get home it's just it's a little too much for me personally I could never I would just stay in my home I'll be like I'm not leaving you have to come to me Rosemarine, I'm coming! Hello! Also, can we just talk about how my door is like always halfway open? Like, there's a reason why someone was able to break into our house because we don't lock the door. Welcome back, Elise. Brought some bread, let's settle down and eat. Yum. Would you like me to start making dinner for us tomorrow, Elise? That's not a bad idea itself, but... How am I to know you won't make a mess of it? Last thing I want is to spend my evening in the outhouse. <laughs> oh my god, I get food poisoning. <laughs> I'll have you know, I'm a proper cook, Elise. Never once did my sweet granny disapprove of anything I prepared. Well, I suppose it can't be, it can't do much harm. All right. On that note, Rosemarine, you're to sleep up in the attic from now on. Can't have you hanging around the granary and bringing all the dust and cobwebs inside. Oh, but I... Oh, so it was a granary. I wasn't sure if it was a chicken coop or what. Oh, I can clean it up, clean uh, it out for you, Elise. It's really no trouble. I've had my feel running about looking for you all day and night. Oh, at least I wouldn't want to be a bother. And I wouldn't want, want you nesting with the mice and geckos. This is true. You're sleeping in the attic and that's final, you hear. I'm letting you sleep inside where it's perfectly warm and... Did you hear that, Rosemarine? I hear floorboards creaking. So, that's the noise you're talking about? You hear what? I'm talking about the, the broom? You stay here, just in case. Oh, uh, what the? What's going on? It's you! Okay, okay, wait. Okay, Muffy's her name. Let's all, let's all remember this. Muffy's her name. Please spare me, Elise. Muffy. What in the world's... Lord's name are you doing here? Now her name is Miffy. Okay. I was out on a stroll. I swear, I swear on my auntie's name. It just so happened to hide behind my house, I see. 
Who doesn't? You sneak about folks' homes every now and then too, don't you? What are you doing here, Mandy? Her name is Mandy now. That's strange. Her name's changed two times so far. Tell me right now or I'll scrub your mouth with soap this very minute. It's getting quite late, isn't it, Elise? I best... Out with it! I saw her. That girl you're housing, Elise. Mm -hmm. You saw nothing, Molly. Okay, her name's Molly now. <laughs> I promise you'll understand. It's Miffy, Muffy, Mandy, and now Molly. I don't... I don't know what's going on with this girl. I've already told you my conspiracy theory on her. So, yeah, you know now. She's not from around here, even I can tell. We're having supper together and everything, Elise. You keep your mouth shut, mubby. Jesus. Or I'll... Why don't you share some of that bread you got, Elise? I might keep quiet if you do. I should have guessed that's what you'd wanted. Get some bread and just get out of here. If I hear as much as a word about this, Molly. Uh huh. Dolly, Elise, why don't you bring me a pretzel tomorrow? Okay, lady, pretzels are very expensive. You need to calm down. Out with it! Shut your mouth or I'll throw you in the well. And don't come back or else for goodness sake this is the last thing i needed i'm sorry i is she gone mm. this is gonna this could be bad rosemary uh, i'm sorry well, at least i generally didn't see her i would have told you if i had uh. don't you start fretting now too do you think she'll tell anyone mm. if she does we could be in trouble, I know. Rosemarine? I'm sorry, I... It's Rosemarine? Shush it, you! Oh, shush. I'm heading back inside. Uh, yes! Muffy is spying on you. Fulfill her daily requests for food items to keep her from snitching on you and uh, raising suspicion. Avoid suspicion, mind what you say, and your best to avoid raising suspicion towards Elise or bear the consequences. Elise, I'm heading off to bed, Rosemarine. I can spend the night in the granary if you'd like. No, I meant what I said, you're sleeping in the attic. I'll meet you upstairs. Uh, all right. Okay, let's go. Oh my god. Time for bed. Mm. You left that goat in the granary, I'm hoping. Uh, of course. <laughs> left the door ajar so you can go out and about if you want. What makes you think you'll stay put? <laughs> Why, the bed I made him, of course. You have to see it, Elise. I'm not going out of my way to see a goat's be hay bed, Rosemarine. Up you go. You need to make your bed, too. Mm. There's holes. You'll make do, I'm certain. Oh, it's perfect. Is it? Uh, okay. I'll get you a blanket, too. Can't have you sleeping in, on hay. Why not? I mean, she has hay on her hat. For sake. You're not goat. You're not a goat, Rosemarine. <laughs> I could be a thief. Yet you're trusting me with a blanket. For I don't see what's so funny. Please. You truly are kind, Elise. I can see that clearly now. I'll be glad to take that blanket, Elise. I'll get you some matches too, and a candle. Thank you, Elise. 
It's bedtime now. I need some rest. Good night, Rosemarine. Good night, Elise. Da da da. Oh. Notebook? Oh no, I'm sleeping. Still, once again, I love the art style. It's so good. It reminds me of all the older animes. For goodness sake. What am I getting myself into? First, I agree to house Rosemarine. Now, Miffy's caught wind of it too? I best make sense of it all by tomorrow. If only I could leave this town. Go somewhere far, far away from here. A place where I'd never have to fret about money or going hungry. Like a castle or a palace somewhere. Where I can live the life I deserve. Oh, my dog is snoring. <laughs> oh, hmm. Uh, um, what's this? What's going on here? Where, where am I? A luxurious castle would seem. What is this? Is this a dream? <gasps> Hello? I don't... I don't like this. Oh, um... Rebirth? Golden Girl? Golden Girl like the show? <laughs> That's what I wished for. Long, long ago. You wanted to be reborn? Somewhere safe. Somewhere far, far away. I went through all their trials. Gathered all his gifts. And, indeed, I was reborn. My wish was granted, yet, yet, to think I would end up like this. Wait, what was that? Oh, she gave me grapes. Oh no. Is my sanity dropping? I can't tell. Uh, where am I? What am I supposed to look for? It's so bright, but there's no flame. An intrinsically designed golden lamp stands by the bedroom door, its bulbs shining bright. I'm locked in here, I suppose. I can't say I mind it much, if I'm honest. Can I just sleep on the bed and just have a good time? How would I give to sleep every night? I feel like I read that wrong. What, did I, what was I supposed to say? Oh, what I wouldn't give to sleep here every night. There we go. A spacious bed stands in a corner. Its silky sheets protected by a counterpane and corroded in golden thread. It's locked, it seems. Oh, and I bet there's something nice inside, too. How do I... Where's this key at? Where's the key? Ooh. I feel like a princess... I feel like I'm in a princess's bedroom. If only I could live here just like I've always dreamed. Oh my god! Be careful, there are all sorts of dangers lurking in the shadows. Use healing items to uh, preserve and survive. Oh wait, there's something on the ground. Was that always on the ground or did that just now appear? Am I going crazy? I don't think that was there. Uh, about using items. The items in your inventory can affect on the environment. Try using them. It's locked, it seems. Wait, so I have to go to items, 
then go to Wait. I got a key. Why does this key not go to Am I going insane? I just got a key. Where's the key? Where's the key? Huh? Am I insane? Have I gone insane? I... Huh? What? I just got the key. Where's the key though? It should be in items, right? It's it, that that wasn't there before. I'm pretty sure. I I, I wait. Was that there before? Am, am I going insane? I feel like I'm going insane. I got. I'm going insane. <laughs> I promise you that wasn't there before. Okay. Can I click the key? Select. I'm trying to select it. It won't let me. Oh, well, how about I press the right thing? Oh wait, you can go. Wait, you can go up and down. Wait, how do you move this? Oh, like this. But it won't let me use it. I have to get farther away from it. I don't. I'm having so much problem for a key. This is insane. I should not be having this this many problems with the key. I did it. I did it. Oh goodness, so many dresses. Another key? I wonder what it's for. I'm assuming it's for the door. Okay, I promise you. I'm having too many problems with the freaking key. So let's go ahead and just eat too. Probably grapes? No, I'll just eat some bread. And then we'll use the key. I'm not close enough to the door. Uh, that'd probably work if I'm close enough to the door. It should not be taking me this long. I'm, I'm having such problems with the key. Okay, there we go. Oh, thank God. This reminds me of like an Alice in Wonderlands, like, like a castle. It's just such a long corridor. It sure feels as though I'm inside a palace. I don't like this place. Oh no, I'm here laughing. Oh, what's going on here? Hmm. I don't. I don't like this anymore. <laughs> I can't see anything. A blinding crimson glow pierces the windows, glass panes, tinting the room in a reddish hue. Yes, I will save. Thank you, thank you. Okay. I have I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, look at the like the ground, like the reflection. What's name is this place? What are those? The candles? Feeling lost? Don't uh, forget to turn on your lantern and keep an eye out. There you go. I can say thank you. Uh. Okay. 
What is this? It's all different languages. I can't make sense of any of the titles. Uh, the giant cracks in the ground? Okay. Ooh, chest. A key? It's a key. This is what we will get me out of here, I'm certain. Okay. Oh, flower. It's no wonder they, they are wilted being left in an, such an awful room. A bunch of purple flowers sat, sat lazily over their base. Their vase. If I can say it correctly. Okay. Let's not do that. Go over here and just snap that. And if it seems like I'm just running to the chest because I know where they are, you are, are correct because I did this before. I'm not going to lie to you. It actually took me um, two hours to do this because I didn't know where the last key was because it was in such a weird place and I also, mind you, uh, I didn't turn my lantern on. So when I was doing this without, hmm, that was getting too close. When I was did this, I didn't have my lantern on so I couldn't see Jiggity Jack. I was practically blind. So, now I know where things are. I don't feel so bad. It was a horrifying experience having to go through all that. Back away, sire. Back away. I need four keys, don't I? Yeah, I need four keys. Oh, hmm. No, I didn't mean to. Oh. I ran to two of them. Oh, God, I just. Where'd this one come from? The fudge? Okay, well. This is just. Unnecessary, 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 unnecessary. Uh, ointment. There we go. Highly necessary. Uh, uh. Thank you, I'll be taking this. Thank you, thank you. Yes, we know Takiya. Ooh, what is this? Bandages? I don't even need to use my ointment. I need to go up here. Candles move in such weird ways. Let me just uh, run past here. That's me. Wait, did that just move? Hold on. No, it's someone else, but it changes to look like Elise. Okay, I, I was like, wait, it was moving. Jammed. Let's try to pry it open. Force it open, of course. What is this? What's this? The key to one's dream is found within oneself. As for yours, it's in this very room, the core of your innermost desire. It's not knowledge you seek, but gold bathed in glory. Of course, yes, I want to be rich, after all. Okay, let me just run past. Oh. Okay. Just get out of here. I don't remember where the last one is, though. I know it's like a bookshelf. Oh, oh, I suck. You suck. These matches aren't cheap, you know. Oh, 
Oh, where's the last one? Here it is. That's where it is. So this is this is what happened to me. This is where the last thing was. I was so blind I couldn't see that this was a golden like bookshelf. Now that I can see, it look, makes more sense now. There's something on the back of this shelf. I have to reach my arm to grab it, but reach for it, of course. This is the key. I can finally get out of this place. It's terrible. God awful place. I'm out of here. All of you suck. I hope you burn out. I'm out. Four keyholes. Oh, I have to actually. Uh, okay. Here it is. Use. This is it. It worked. Um. Why is it so dark in here? I never got this far. Because I literally stayed in that one place. <laughs> I must be dreaming. Oh, it's one of the candles. Oh, I can walk. I can run. Oh. Oh, it's the castle. Oh, this one's golden. It's the castle. Okay. Why am I just running in the dark? Oh, okay, I'm moving on my own. What the fudge? Hurry now, hurry now! What? We're late for his banquet. What are you? Hurry, hurry! What are you on about? Okay. This is going by itself. This is not me. What the? This is not me moving. This is going by itself. What the fudge? Oh my god. What is, what is, what is, what is happening here? What is this? What the fudge is this? Oh my god. That's, um, that was something. Not weird at all. Okay. A dream? Mm. That left me feeling a little queasy. Rose and Marine? Are you there? Most likely still asleep anyhow. No point in waking her up this early, I suppose. So why is it so like golden over here? Collected fireflies? I collect fireflies? Interesting. So I'm about to use my stuff for my sanity because my sanity is like god awful. I ate a pretzel. Oh, fudge. I didn't mean to do that. That gives me so little. That gives me so little. I wasted one of my pretzels. I feel so bad. <laughs> no. My pretzels. They're the only thing I live for in this life. What is that? Okay, so this is, I've never gotten this far, so it's all blind for me now, so I don't know what's gonna happen. Good morning, Elise. I would've gotten a heart start, head start on breakfast if I knew you'd be waking up this early. Since so when have you been up? Oh, I've always, I'm always up and before, uh, Jesus. I'm always up and about before daybreak. I'm, I can't sleep if I'm, if I try. I didn't notice you coming down from the attic. I brought the ladder up with me last night so I wouldn't wake you. And the hatch doesn't squeak if you do it slowly, right? I took my shoes off 
and use the ladder to shut it back. Easy. You're smarter than you look. I look as smart as I am, Elise. Is that so? Anyhow, I'm heading off to the garden. The garden? You mean the fields in... Just outside? Is it that obvious that I haven't touched it in years? Yes. Well, actually, it's probably still pretty good because there's no weeds or anything growing in there. Been working like a dog since Granny Holly passed, but... Not the tr not the fret about you. Not have you to fret about too. I can't sit on my hands forever, can I? Please. What? You rather starve? Join me as a maid of all work. Phrase, perhaps. <laughs> you truly are kind, aren't you? you? I'm heading out to see what I can do about the garden. I'll call you in for breakfast in a moment, then. What is this? I can't... Oh, it's bread! Okay, I don't feel so bad about eating my pretzel. No, I still do, actually. Still do. I've neglected it for so long, it'll be impossible to dig. <laughs> Anyhow, this is no time to load our about. Oh. What Ooh. Really nice shoes. A pair of shoes? Are you Dorothy from Wizard of Oz? How can they possibly have wound up here in my garden? Oh, they're wonderful. And they fit me like a glove too. These shoes. Could you imagine having such beautiful shoes and having to work in the field in them? Haven't you always had red shoes? <laughs> it's as if they were made for me. I did it! All of Kieferberg needs to hear about this. Just spins around. <laughs> oh. For now, it's Miss. Oh. What is this? I'm done with the... Can I show this? Is this okay? I mean, it's a different language, so I don't know. And it's a stream, so I really can't help it. These shoes have really set her off. I would try to read it, but I don't think I can keep up. <laughs> hey, look at me. Oh god. That was um a nice little thing. Wait. Did we just have like a little did we just do like all that and we were inside Kieferberg? That's a little that's a little weird. On your feet at least. Explain yourself. Wait, what happened? We had like this weird like, um, what is it? What is it? What is it called? 
high school musical like little thing happened to us right there oh, what does he have to explain father could you have not could you not hear yourself lass parading into saint Walpurgis place of worship howling and shouting like a what's that noise What's that noise? I'm hearing stuff. I don't know. Uh, please, old Joshin. Uh, vanity, disdain for your fellow folk. I mean, it's like a little wand, but all this came. I've always known you were wicked, you arrogant lass. Also, does that like our song right there was us basically just showing off like, look at my shoes, look at my shoes, I'm better than you, I'm better than you. It's basically what was happening then. You old geezer. Why you? A witch, a witch of old Holly's kin. Whoa. I am not a witch, you. Oh, you listen here, you old wretch. That's enough! Okay. Oh, Joshin has overstepped his boundaries. I ask that you pardon him. Yet this concern weighs heavy, Elise. Oh, yet his concerns weigh heavy. Oh, I wasn't aware singing and dancing was a forbidden father. Your singing was r riddled with sin, lass. Oh. I guess my greed for money and uh, power, because uh, look at this place, it's clearly just dripping in wealth. Vanity and lust go hand in hand with greed. Your- What does that have anything to do with my sin, father? This old geek has just accused me and my grandmother of witchery yet. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie, these accusations when everyone is clearly going crazy about a witch could like, you know, you know, burn us at the stake and all. Compose yourself and come inside. Your temperament is a sin and in itself. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go because if I if I don't go, I have a feeling. Well, just a little, little bit of a feeling. Um, I'm gonna probably be accused of being a witch. I guess I'll repent for something I didn't do if it makes you happy. <sighs> Yet there's something I'd like to make clear, you all. You stood witness to this foolery. You've you've all heard old Josh and accuse me of being Oh, accuse me of of witchery. <gasps> That's enough, Elise. You asked me to pardon him yourself father and I will yeah I demand you folks restrain understand this once and for all out with it. I'm not a mere maid of all work I am one of you and I demand right here right now that you start treating me as such hmm. very well Lise you made yourself heard oh hmm Old hag. Without a shadow of a doubt, lass. <gasps> At least he's made his move. <gasps> Who are you? An old acquaintance of yours, lass. What? You're favored by him, Elise. Frighteningly so. You're clad in his will. From head to toe, inside and out. And those shoes. My shoes? Those very shoes, Elise, are a testament. A testament of his gift to you. Who is he? Listen carefully now, my beautiful lass. Get away from me! Yours is his heritage, his flesh. His door. Don't you understand, Elise? Mmm, those nails need a bit of a trimming, is what I understand. What in the Lord's name? 
How do you know my name? His blessing, his will, he himself is writhing in your veins, glass. What do you want from me, you old hag? You must listen carefully now, my beloved. Do as I say, and he will make all your wishes come true. What is this? My wishes, you say? Why, yes. Opul opulence, splendor, fortune. Your deepest desire is unlike any other, Elise. I don't understand. You do, Elise. Tell me, what is your most, what is it you most desire? Um, for you not to touch me, and you have to get those nails clipped, because, uh, you might poke my eye out. <laughs> me? Speak it, Elise. What I most desire, that's... Fortune? Fortune... Fortunate? You are. Deep in the woodlands, there's a... Patreon saint. Whose blissful words bestow a blessing upon the faithful. All that's request is in return the three gifts made for the tes testament to one's desire. Reach his dwelling with all of these in hand, and your wish shall be granted. A wound, carrier of life. Your basket is to hold all that is sacred. Wait, 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 before we continue, didn't we just like talk to a, a lady called Golden Girl and then she's saying, I got all of his gifts or something and she wanted to be reborn and she was reborn and she didn't like it. So you get what I'm saying? It's kind of like the whole genie situation. Be careful what you wish for. I feel like it's about to happen. We're about to get like really messed up right now. Oh, this crows. The tender flesh of earthy desire. Uh... Okay. Oh. The sweet, sweetest nectar to be drunk in earnest. Yours shall arrive in good company, the object of your affection. You are to reach the gates of his dwelling, carrying all three gifts. A tree with a crack in it, okay. I don't know. Mm. Voice your innermost desire, surrender yourself wholly to his grace. I don't like surrendering myself to anyone, or wholly, with those hands, oh no. And fortune you shall attain. Oh, this this is. Mm, I don't I don't think so. This, is, this isn't looking it. <laughs> For such is his blessing, and such is your desire. Don't like that. Elise. Elise, are you listening? At least you keep blacking out. What's happening? <laughs> uh, where did she go? Elise. Oh, are you all right, Elise? Where did that old hat go? Elise. What's the matter with you? Lacuin. Lacuin. Who's Lacuin? Is it for Leb? I'm... I'm sorry, Leb. It's best we let her rest for a while. We can sit with you, Elise. Oh, it's best we give her 
some space, Jacob. I'm alright, I... I felt a little dizzy is all. I can bring you some water at least. As for me, I'll be in church, waiting to have a word with you. Don't you start, lab. Oh, I've already started. My, now you've done it, done it at least. For goodness sake. I guess my little, her little singing was not allowed. So many tasks, so many things to do. But I'll save that for next stream because personally, that was too much for me. <laughs> too much, too much singing. Too much dancing, too much blacking out. Quite weird. Uh, but yeah, so that's where we'll end this off. I probably should actually just save here. Yes, yeah, save right here. There we go. I guess this time I'm probably do the chopping task, try to get that S rank that I know I can have. I'm tired of getting just 49. I can get better than that. But that is where we we'll end this up. So hopefully you had a wonderful time, everyone, because that's a time thing and place doing this. What a one time, everybody. And goodbye, everybody.